Hey people, are you an individual or a business and you want to accept payment from others? Then Instamojo is a great solution. Yes, Instamojo is a payment gateway using which you can accept payment as a business or an individual and you can also set up free online stores where you can sell your products and accept payments. Alright, so this is the website that is instamojo.com. So either directly you can go here or it is better if you use my referral link which I am going to paste in this description. So just go to the description of the video and you will be having a referral link using which if you go to this website using that referral link then you will get rupees 500 as a bonus by 30th day. Right. So please make sure that you go to this website using my referral link. All right. So once you go to this website, just click on this sign up button so that we have to register. So here you have two options, either you are a business or a consumer, right? So in this video, we are going to see with respect to business, right? So either you can sign up using Google or Facebook or you can give your email ID. So I'll just give here my email ID. All right. Choose a password and then just click on sign up as business just wait for some time and you see here you are there in this particular dashboard what you can do is you can just give your mobile number here so make sure you provide a valid mobile number so i'll just give my mobile number click on send otp it will send an otp to your mobile number so just give that so this is my otp number click on verify and now you are successfully verified with your phone number. All right. Now you see here, once you start, you have two options. Either you can accept payment or you can set up free online store. So you can select this particular option if you want to accept payment. Right. And this is the option to create your free online store where you can sell your products and accept payments. So it is up to you. In my case, I'll click on this first option click here and you can select a username so let me just give a valid username let's say all right so this is the username I have selected and click on business type and either you are an individual or registered organization so if you click on individual it will ask you whether you are a proprietor so you have to click no if you are not a proprietor or if you are a proprietor click yes and if you are a registered organization then instead of individual you can select registered organization and you have to choose which type of organization you are so most of the organization will fall in this private limited or it can be llp or so on so based on your business you can select it in my case i'm an individual so i'll select this click on this yes option or no option based on whether you are a proprietor so in my case i am not a proprietor i'll click on no click on next then what is the business category so in my case let me just select for example let's say education and jobs and in this business subcategory i can just say like let's say personal teaching or job consulting or online teaching so let's say i select this online teaching what is my annual turnover so if you are starting now you can just say like zero i'm starting now or you can just say zero to 10k depending on where you stand all right at this moment i'll select zero i'm starting now how old is your business you can just say i'm starting a new business or based on your particular standing at this moment you can just select it right and number of employees i'll just give self-employed at this moment do you have a website so if you click yes that means you have to give your website URL. If you don't have any website, click on no. And then what are the services or products you are going to sell? So you can just say like, I want to provide online training for IT and businesses. Right. So you can give something meaningful here. Right. I want to accept payments from my 
students or customers all right click on next more business detail here you have to give your pan card and make sure that you give a valid pan card because you cannot change it later so i'll just give my pan card here that is all right you have to give the name which appears on your pan card you have to give your address just select your state i'll select karnataka give your pin code and if you have gst number you can give here which is optional and what do you want to sell so as in my case i want to give my services so i'll just select this if you want to sell products you can give products right and others is if you are not sure whether you are falling into service category or products you can select others but in most of the cases either it will be services or products click on next and here you have to give your bank details so let me just fill in all right just confirm it and accept this terms and condition to create your account all right you see here it says congratulation you are ready to collect payments and at this moment it is 10000 which is the default approved limit and this 10000 you can accept maximum in a month right and if you want that whatever instamozo is charging if you want to pass this to customer by default it will be on if you want that you should pay that then you can just select off right and this instamozo fee will be charged to you all right so in this case let me just keep it on so that my customers has to pay three percent plus rupees three for each payment all right and these are the modes through which payment can be done by your customers so it is indian debit and credit card net banking upi beam etc then we have wallets and then emi all right and you see this is your default payment link and just go to dashboard so this is how your dashboard looks like and you see here at this moment as i told you the limit is 10000 but if you want to accept payments more than 10000 it is very easy just click on this submit kyc button click on next because you have to upload few documents for your kyc so just give your pan card and then bank statement all right it is very simple just scan the pan card and give the bank statement details of let's say one or two months and click on next and then you can just upload the documents right so you can just select the documents that's it so at this moment i don't want to do that so let me just come to dashboard and you you see here you have various options here that is you have this payment link you can give this payment link to anyone using this payment link they can also do payment you have refunds then you have api and plugins so let's say if you have a website then you can just go to your api and plugins and you can see that what type of plugins are available to integrate this instamozo account with your website so let's say most of the time it will be wordpress so in wordpress it is a very important plugin which is called woocommerce and you can integrate WooCommerce with Instamojo. So you can select this. Or if you are using any other platform, you see here we have CS card, then we have Drupal and so on. So based on your requirement, you can select it. And then you can just create your credentials. So if you just click on this create new credentials, you will be getting all the details to connect your Instamojo with your website. All right. So that's it so just go ahead and use this instamojo website it is too good and i don't think there is a better payment gateway which is more simpler than this and do use my referral link so that you can get rupees 500 by default and i will also earn some commission as well so that's it take care bye